The Pitahas' relationship to nature is fundamental to understanding them. Understanding this relationship is as important to gaining a full picture of their values and overall culture as understanding their material culture and their sense of community. As I began to study how the Pitahas relate to nature in more detail, I discovered that concepts and words for the environment help to define their perspective on how nature fits together and how it is related to human beings. Two terms, migi and oi, are telling in this regard and help us to comprehend the Pitaha worldview. I learned something about migi one day after a rain. First, I recorded the phrase migi e hui aga as a description of wet or muddy ground. Then I pointed up to the cloudy sky to get the phrase for cloudy sky. The speaker just repeated migi e hui aga, the same phrase he had just given me for muddy ground. I thought I must be missing something. Ground and sky are two very different things. So I tried again with several other speakers. Everyone gave me the same answer. It is possible, of course, that I was getting a non-responsive answer from all my teachers along the lines of, you are an idiot or you're pointing, but I was fairly confident that this was not the case. These concepts are important in various ways. Especially interesting is their contribution to our understanding of sickness among the Pitahas. I learned this early on when Kohoi Behei and I were talking about his daughter, Ibe. I was trying to explain to him why she had malaria. I was starting to talk about mosquitoes and blood. No, no, Kohoi stopped me in mid-sentence. Ibe is sick because she stepped on a leaf. What? I stepped on a leaf? I'm not sick, I answered, puzzled by his account of Ibe's malaria. A leaf from above, he said, increasing the enigma for me. What leaf from above? A bloodless one from the upper Migi came to the lower Migi and left a leaf. When the Pitahas step on leaves from the upper Migi, it makes them sick. They are like our leaves, but they make you sick. How do you know it's a leaf from the upper Migi? I inquired. Because when you step on it, you get sick. <laughs>